Hi gang, Scott here. I got a tip for you today and I want Photo Raw about adding a little pop to your foliage. A few days ago I did a video showing a technique to target just the areas you want for a change in color, a shift in hue. I was using foliage, got some questions around, can I do this in On1 Photo Raw? Absolutely, and let me show you how it works. I have this scene here where I wanna add some sort of pop to the greens and the foliage, just make those stand out a little bit more. And I chose this photo to show the technique because while there's certainly green up in the trees, there's also quite a bit of green in the ocean. And one of the techniques that we do when we're changing uh, greens to make them a little more strong is we shift yellow toward green. Well, there's a lot of yellow in this scene too, the sand and the rock. You know, in our typical approach, we'd add a filter and we'd choose like color adjustment and we can take the foliage style. All right, that certainly increased the greens. Look at the before and after on the trees, before and after. But now also pay attention to the ocean. I'll do the same thing, before and after. It's a subtler change, but it is there. Uh, to further drive this home, notice in the yellow area, we've changed the hue much more toward green. If we watch the sand as I move this slider back and forth, you can see a shift in the sand as well, and you know the rock faces. So with all of that considered, well then, how do we target this to just the areas we want? Well, we can use masks, and we have a bunch of different options. We have color range masks, we have the brushes, and in this scene, uh, really the brush is fine. So if I open up my color adjustment, I would first want to invert this, so I'm removing the effect entirely. And then I have paint in, and I can just paint this in over the trees that I'm interested in. And my brush strokes are pretty cavalier here, right? And actually, let me increase the opacity of my brush all the way up so we really get that full punch. But as I'm brushing through here, like I'm drifting up into the sky, it doesn't matter because there's no green or yellow or any of the colors that I'm affecting. Well, let's say that wasn't enough. You need to really target things down. Let's reset that mask. And instead, we'll use a color range. So first thing I'll do is turn on the color range. Then get the picker and choose something up in the trees, like right there. Okay. Now, notice the mask swatch has really changed. And this is very revealing. I press the O key, and you can see... These are all the areas that are considered within the color range. So all the greens there. We see it in the ocean. We saw it in the sand. It's quite a bit in the rocks. We have our color range. How closely do I want to match that color that I sampled? And I'm really going to start taking it down here. You get to a certain point where it's pretty good. There's still more in the rocks that I would not want to affect. If I turn off that mask view. We're now before that green change after. You now it's impacting certain areas that I don't want. Well, we still have our tools. We still have our brushes. Go into view. This time I'll paint out and I'll just take away the effect from the areas I don't want. And I won't have to be absolutely precise on this. So that's not the nature of these types of changes. Down here, we can just sweep all the way through. Okay, get all that, great. And now I can even play with the range again to kind of reintroduce more of that uh, green into the scene so I really get the trees going. You know, and actually, maybe, maybe right around there, there's a little bit of hint of a landmass out there. I'll take away what's remaining in the ocean. We'll turn that off. And now I have that nice pop on just the greens that I want. And uh, just so you can see what's being affected, right? There's that brightness. And actually, that kind of looks nice. So I have a little extra luminance to those trees. So all that added up before and after. You zoom in up on the trees themselves before and after. So that's the technique. Use your color adjustment just like you would for any color shift. But when you have a scene where the color palettes are close, where one element in the scene is very close to another tone in the uh, rest of the scene, 
grab your masking tools. Start with a color range mask to limit things. And if you need to clean up, you've always got your brush tools. Hope you found this useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.